Hello, viewers. This is your captain speaking, Scruffy of Scruffy Tam Airlines. I hope you're going to enjoy my next several videos as I fly across the United States in different aircraft playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is a new series. Yes, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but my energy is renewed. Each time I stream, I'll be taking the video from Twitch and posting it here. So be sure you come back, watch each installment each week as we fly across the United States, checking out different sightseeing areas. Um, some pretty exciting, some not so much, but we'll have fun nonetheless. If you enjoy my videos, please hit like, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Scruffy Sam. See you soon. Take care. Good Sunday evening to you. How are you this evening? Good to see you. Hope everyone is doing well. Just um, going to feed my addiction a little bit more this evening. I'm addicted to Microsoft Flight Sim. <clears throat> and uh, it, it helps me keep my mind off of um, my eating habit as well. So if I'm sitting here streaming, I'm not eating and I'm, and I'm losing weight. So anything I can do to occupy my mind helps. So yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and stream for a couple hours. Uh, the plan tonight is to fly out of San Antonio to uh, Midland. I'm pretty sure Midland's in Texas. Oh, uh, it's 241 uh, nautical miles. So I don't know how long that's going to take to make that entire flight. I may end up breaking that into two separate flights. Uh, but we'll see. We shall see. But that's the plan for this evening. But again, I hope uh, hope everyone had a fantastic Sunday. Mine was mine was really good. I just realized my camera is I kind of hit my camera when I was turning it on. Knocked it over a little bit, showing all the junk in this room that I tried to push out of the way. Hey, Weston, what's happening, friend? How are you? Good to see you. Hope you've had a hope you I hope you've had a good day. So I am going to go ahead and switch to the game, to the sim, and we'll go ahead and take off um, from San Antonio. Hopefully we'll get to see a little bit of a sunset. I did make it to where um, possibly we'll see some sunset. I, I really, I'm not comfortable flying at night. And besides that, it's semi-boring. we'll see had a wonderful day thank you just finished your stream and oh that's right i forgot because you're going to the um you're going to the i forgot the name of it but yeah to the gaming conference streaming conference um i'm sorry i forgot what it was called yeah 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 you know what i'm talking about and i know what you were talking about All right, let me go ahead and switch to the game. I've already got it. Got it pulled up and ready. Yeah, the biggest gaming convention in the UK. Thank you. Kind of jealous of you on that. First of all, I'm... Hands the mule, whoa. The mute, I mean. I'm a goofy goober. Hands of the Mute, thank you so much for that follow. I truly appreciate that. I am Scruffy Tam, a longtime gamer, and been streaming for a little bit over a year now. Uh, welcome to the channel. I call my channel The Sock Drawer. Welcome, are you a flight simmer? 
hands is just fine. Awesome. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. All right, so we are cleared for takeoff. I'm going to turn my music off now. So we're going to be taking off from San Antonio, heading straight into hopefully Midlands, Texas. Oh, so that's this will be the first time that you guys have met. I just assumed that you kind of, you know, that you'd met before and hung out. That will be really cool. I haven't met anyone yet from my community or anyone else's. And actually, the average Kim and the Kung Fu Kangaroo and I, we live fairly close to each other. Um, but I've just, you know, it's it's not a not very often that I head their direction, you know, as to where they live. All right, let's uh, go ahead. Ready for takeoff. Yeah, I would love to do that. I really would. Um, just, just not financially able or um, with my job, I'm just not able to do that. Take that, you know, take that kind of time off. All right, we have liftoff. Percy! Hey, Percy, how are you? I have not seen you in a long time, which I think the last time I saw you was on Jess's stream. How are you, Percy? Good evening to you. You know, I'm not sure. I, I'm not that familiar with a Tudor. In fact, I'm not that familiar with many aircraft. Uh, I am not a pilot in real life. Wish I was. And the only plane I've ever flown is a Cessna. I did fly a Cessna one time. I was kind of a co-pilot. It was supposed to be a flying lesson. Didn't last long. So I'm not sure, Pants. Um... So, are you, so you've actually flown in a tutor before. It's kind of a... <laughs> Laura, I just happened to be looking at the screen. Tam the OG playing drop the bass in just a minute. When is it? There we go. Tam the... Tam the OG dropping that bass. Thank you so much, Tam. I appreciate that. How is everyone this evening? How is everyone doing? I'm going to climb up to approximately 3,000 feet, and then we'll work on getting everything leveled out, throttle back a little bit, and try to stay level at 3,000. I'm going to go ahead and, and turn kind of uh, northwest. Yeah, it's been a long time, which which really, I mean, it's, it's kind of kind of my fault because I haven't been streaming much until the last really week uh, really two weeks all right I'm gonna let the plane level itself out so you've flown three times in the tutor um, once I get leveled out I'll let you see the outside of the plane but honestly I'm just not that familiar with planes right now with aircraft I will say I'm in love with Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're enjoying the last day of your weekend. You have to work tomorrow. I do too. I do too. Let's see here. I need to give some shout outs. So the Westinator is here. Shout the Westinator out. Uh, Westinator is an awesome person. Ooh, Lady Penny. Lady Penny. What? Who is Lady Penny? I haven't seen you in a long time, Lady Penny. How are you? Oh, dude. Yeah, Pans. It really is. My pitch is all over the place right now. Yes, yes, it is. Baldur, what is going on? How are you? Yeah. So I found, and I, and maybe you can help me with this. Usually, once I start, once I take off. Um, it bounces like crazy for a little while and then it levels itself out So I didn't know if that was just if that was normal or if there's something that I need to do some kind of um, input that I need to do on that You made affiliate what penny I didn't even realize that you were streaming It could be turbulence, but I mean this is every time 
every time I take off, once I um, once I get up, I like to fly at around 3,000 feet, but every time I... Okay, so there's one problem. My flaps are still down. There we go. Every time I take off, it takes a little while for the plane to stabilize itself. San Antonio Tower, no, give me the winded explanation. I, I, I want to learn. San Antonio approach, Cessna Sierra, I'm a talker. Penny, congratulations on that. Okay, so I shouted Weston out. Let me shout out. Um, let me see if Tim there. Oh, Tim, I did see where you where you redeemed socks. Give me just a minute and I'll show you my socks. So this is my daughter, Tim the OG. And then where is Penny? There we go. So y'all be sure to follow Penny. Penny's a, a longtime member of the community as well as just about everybody else in here. All right, my socks of the day. On the right foot, let me move my screen. There we go. On the right foot, I've got my dog Christmas socks. It's, um, yeah, dog Christmas socks. And then on the right foot, it's kind of, I mean, on the left foot, it's kind of hard to see, but they're gray with snowman and dog snowman. So kind of cute socks. And these, these are my socks of the day. Thank you, Tam, for, um, for that. All right, let's see here. I am needing to head to the left just a little bit. Oh my goodness, I'll, all the people are in here. This is awesome. Oh, I love Christmas time, Laura. And so, hence the, uh, hence the Christmas socks. I'm really having a hard time seeing my gauges tonight. Oh, I'm at 3,700 feet. Wow, I need to slow the engine down just a little bit. There we go. Let's slow that altitude climb. And uh, actually, I want to descend just a little bit because I like to fly at 3,000 feet, like I said. All right, we'll let that, let that do its thing for a minute. So we just flew out of San Antonio. And we're going to head to Midland, Texas. If it looks like it's going to take too long, then I'll find a stop along the way. We'll stop at some other airport. Hey, Jess, do we have a Discord? Yes, we do. Yes, we do, Pans. Thank you, Tam, for posting that. Uh, you got to type it right. You got to type it right, though. So type in exclamation mark Discord. There you go, Tam. Thank you, baby. Jess, any adventure goes. Y'all, y'all, um... Jess, at any adventure goes, I promise you, you will not regret. Boom, headshot! Boom, headshot! <laughs> Boom, headshot! And, uh, you did not scare me that time. You did not scare me. Um, Jess, at any adventure goes, is well, well, well worth a, fo a follow. You will not regret it. Hannah, how are you? Thank you for that. For once, you didn't scare me. And Laura, when Laura did hers, I actually saw it pop on the, on the screen, too, so it didn't scare me. All right, Baldur actually posted. Let's see here. So when it comes to airplanes, an up pitch will make the plane gain altitude. And this happens if fights against gravity, which causes a loss in airspeed. Once the speed gets low enough, the plane loses the lift. Once it goes down, the plane gains speed and you lift up. Now, for how to fix it, yes. Yes. Oh, you're welcome, Jess. You are well deserving of it. Well deserving of it. All the shout outs for Jess. Okay, no problem. No problem, Baldor. I'll be here for a couple hours, so no rush. I just, I, I sincerely appreciate your help. It looks like I'm still gaining altitude, so I'm going to throttle back just a touch more. Yeah, so for anyone watching, I'm extremely new to, to Microsoft Flight Sim. This is week two, I think. Um, I started out in San Antonio just five minutes ago. And we're going to attempt to fly to Midland, Texas. Dang it, I forgot to, re I forgot to fuel up. Well, hopefully we'll have enough fuel to make it there. <laughs> we'll see Kim! Holy crap, all the people are here today. Kim, thank you so much for the host. Thank you for shouting out the average Kim. Uh, the average Kim 
holy crap holy crap i've got all the amazing streamers in here tonight if you don't follow and i and i i know what i say this for everybody but i mean it if you don't follow the average kim please go follow kim or if nothing else go to her channel and watch the new trailer video that she created then go ahead and follow her because it's mind-blowing Um, her husband is the Kung Fu Kangaroo and I, I blame him for my addiction to Microsoft Lights him. And we are getting a little bit of turbulence right now. Yeah, all the friends are here. This is awesome. I'm not embarrassing you. Yeah, the, I, I know. I know your trailer is not family friendly. And, and, and I hate to say that I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I saw it on um, on Instagram, but I was somewhere where I couldn't watch it with volume. So I just watched the, the videos and kind of you know figured out what was going on. Kyle, what's going on, Kyle? How, thank you for the hype. Dude, welcome. How's it going for you? Oh, dude, thank you, Pans. I, that, man, y'all are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Kung Fu Kangaroo is here. Dang. Well, y'all shout out Kung Fu Kangaroo. Dang, the whole gang's here. This is amazing. I'm doing fantastic, Kyle. Thank you so much. I truly... Nick it. Nick it. I was hoping that you'd see that someone had sent you... That gave you a gift sub and you'd show up. How are you? So good to see you. Let's go. Everyone's here. Let's -a go. Dang. Y'all, I am so. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot this. Welcome, passengers. This is your pilot, Scruffy Tam. Welcome to Scruffy Airlines, where uh, we are now leveled out at uh, just under 4,000 feet, actually. Our, our cruising altitude is supposed to be 3,000, so we're going we're gonna to bring it on down a little bit. Um, I did, I'm going to keep the seatbelt sign on right now because we are coming across some turbulence. So if you do need to get up and move around, um, just, you know, make your way quickly to the restroom and back. But I do ask that you stay seated. And while you're seated, uh, be sure you stay buckled in the case of turbulence so we don't have any injuries. Be sure all luggage is stowed safely in the um, overhead storage compartment or underneath your seat. Other than that, uh, we do have um, mostly cloudy skies. Uh, no rain looks like in the uh, in the future, so uh, just sit back, enjoy the flight. The flight attendants will be out shortly with uh, light refreshments. Thank you. Enjoy the flight. Yeah, I have a restroom in my Cessna. There's only one other person in here, but you know, oh, Kai, uh, who was Laura? Laura, thank you so much for the hundred biddies. Dang. All right, let's see here. Baldur Ave Aviation. First thing you need to do is pull back on the throttle. Oh, okay. Pull back enough and you're actually at that setting. The second thing is use your pitch trim. That way you don't have to fight the climb and descend. Third is to have a point of reference. Okay. All right. That helps a lot. Um, the pitch trim, I have got to... Oh, you know what? I didn't adjust my pitch trim. That is part of the problem. Because I usually adjust the pitch trim on, on the Cessna 152, I think it was. I had the pitch trim at four tenths. Uh, I think it was negative four tenths. But on this one, I found it works well at six tenths. But dang it. Yeah, I've got to work on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That that will help tremendously. Oh, that chime is perfect. It took me a little while. It took me a little while to uh, to find the exact tone, but that's that's it. That's the exact tone. <laughs> the intercom sound effects is incredible. Just want to go on holidays so badly, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really um, jealous of you. Let's see here. Oh my goodness, I gotta catch up on chat. Alright, so Kung Fu Kangaroo was just saying hi to everybody. Oh dude, yes, I've got an intercom. Of course, of course. 
Yeah, thank you, Jess, for buckling up, being safe. And um, it always helps to look at your navigational map. So uh, during all this time, my, my heading is supposed to be following this purple line from one destination to the next. And so I look and I'm like facing totally the wrong way. But that's not a bad thing because this airport's runway is uh, almost straight up and down vertical. So I'm going to try to land on this runway. See how that works. Whether, whether or not they'll let me is a different thing. But I think they will because the wind direction uh, is just about straight um, blowing out of the north. So that'll be good for the landing. We'll see. See what they say. Tam, you've got a pole. It's really not. So when I, um, some of y'all know that I've got a, that I've got a drone services company. And here in, here in the United States, you have to have a, it's, it's a drone. It, they call it a remote pilot certificate. But as, as getting that certificate, I had to learn the navigational maps. So I'm kind of familiar with some of this stuff. Let, a, let the air traffic controller. Who's lurking? Who's lurking? Okay, yeah, thank you, Laura. I appreciate the lurk. Oh, I will. I did. I did have to learn METAR. METAR is the one thing I really struggle with, uh, Baldur. But yeah, the the book that that we used to study with is actually the the pilot's guide. Um, I forgot what it's called. The pilot's handbook to flight or something. So we had to we had to learn lift and and all that stuff. But a lot of it, you know, I didn't retain much because I wasn't studying to be an actual pilot. But it helped me because I learned. I have to be a sock for Halloween. Really? I haven't even looked at the poll yet. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yes, Baldur, exactly. I mean, I agree with that 100%. And it's so... You don't know. My daughter, Tam the OG, she will tell you. It just infuriates me when people are out there just flying drones in a stupid manner, not knowing what they're doing not realizing how dangerous it is to other aircraft or in the case of a failure, someone or something, a car or whatever on the ground. Oh, I, I do. I get mad. And I, I actually spent two days in Richmond, Virginia studying under um, Scott Strimple. Metal Ryan, dude, thank you so much for the sub. Everyone give Metal Ryan gamers uh, uh, some hype, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. How are you, Ryan? So I spent two days studying under um, Scott Scrimple, who's an Airbus pilot. And that really, really helped me because with him being a pilot, he was able to tell us, this is why the FAA has this rule in place for drones or whatever. So it helped. It helped a lot. Dude, yeah, Ryan, th that was amazing. Thank you so much. So someone else was a drone pilot who depends. Okay, so pans, I, this is what I've got. I had one, I had an Inspire 2, but I sold it because I didn't get any production work. I've got, I had two Inspire 1s, but I've sold one. So I still have an Inspire 1 with a FLIR um, camera. There is a storm up ahead. I just saw a bolt of lightning. I've got uh, a Phantom 4, a Phantom, a Phantom 4 Pro, Phantom 3 Pro, Mavic 2 Pro, a Mavic Pro, and a Spark. Those are, uh, that's, that, that's my drones. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic, Ryan. Thank you so much. Oh, Tam, Uncle Russell brought a whole bunch of, um, cayenne peppers that's what they came over for was bringing me some cayenne peppers and i'm gonna pickle those but they uh, i'm in like a, a grocery bag half full of them a ton of them i'm gonna switch to the external view really quick 
so yeah i'll take any advice any of you guys have um flying the sim because i've only been doing this two weeks and i'm not an actual aircraft pilot so i'll, I'll take some i'll take some help Ooh, i love cayenne don't crash <laughs> good advice good advice uh, i've crashed on landing at least twice that's a, a big old lake there big body of water So, uh, Baldur, are you an actual pilot in real life? Do you do you pilot aircraft? Yeah. See, the greens. I agree with you, Kyle. The, the green peppers, they they just don't have a whole lot of flavor. They they just kind of have that green pepper flavor. But the orange and red peppers. Oh my gosh, I love the orange and reds. They got that little bit of sweetness to them. They're really amazing. But, Tam, I did look, and I've got to kind of stay away from them uh, because they're, they're semi-high in carbs. Oh, uh, I crashed because I came in too fast. Well, I crashed because, yeah, yeah, I came in too fast, pretty much. I came in too fast. I wasn't lined up for the runway. Uh, I kind of panicked, and I, and I nosedived in, and it broke my landing gear, and then I broke my front my nose gear I'm, I'm assuming it broke my nose gear yeah my landings are still really rough so once we get to midland you're gonna see i have some rough landings but i'm getting better getting better i was his passenger no tam although i do have a passenger there is someone in my plane let's see here if you, you see me and somebody so when i do my uh when i do that i am actually talking to somebody i don't know who they are they don't talk a whole lot but there's someone in there sound effects aren't working oh, I know why so I need to be a sock for Halloween I y'all I will try to make that happen I have no idea what to do to be a sock oh my gosh Kim you actually whoa you did and Weston contributed 100 channel points Dang, y'all like spending all the money on the votes. <laughs> Thank y'all. So I guess I could get um, one of those, uh, shoot, what do you call it? It goes over your head and it's just got the eye holes and the mouth hole like robbers use, but then, you know, there's that. People coming in here like, did you just rob a bank? Are you going to a ski mask? Yeah, dang, why didn't I think of a ski mask? Or, yeah, a baklava, a baklava. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is a pretty cool idea, though, to be a sock. Yeah, that's how I usually read it, too. Whenever I see that word, that's how I read it, and that's how I pronounce it. Even though, even though apparently it's wrong. Yeah, I, I like that idea, Tam about in real life being a filter and then no filter which is hilarious because i'm i'm pretty much filtered 
And uh, damn, the OG is not filtered. Yeah, Tam pretty much has no filter. And I do. <laughs> from her mom. She got that from her mom, no doubt. With, uh... Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. That is, that is... Oh, that's true, I didn't think about that, Sam. Stream on, stream on, stream on, stream because I came back to you. Laura, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate that. Sox wins every poll. Thank you for the lurk and thank you for um, throwing out that unlurk message. I, I'm, I really love, even though it's me singing, I, re I really love that song. Thank you. Pretty proud of that. I came up with that all on my own. The lyrics, the lyrics. Oh my gosh, pans! That that's pretty awesome. I love that. I might, I might do that. You did. You know what? I can't. I forgot about that. I can't take full credit for that. You did help me. I was trying to think of a song because, because my lurk message, is is a, is a song basically. And so I said, I've got to have a song for my unlurk message too. And I asked him, I think I did the lyrics all on my own though. Oh, okay. You had to put your washing out. So you air dry your, your clothes. That's pretty awesome. My mom used to do that when we were kids. We may have done at our first house. We had a, a clothesline. We may have air dried ours. Didn't last long though. Yeah, well, Tam, see, I kind of forgot to fill up before I took off. Um, I'm at 11 gallons. Well, yeah, I'm pretty much 22, 23 gallons. I think I'll be okay in this plane though. This plane's significantly faster than the other one was. We'll see. So was it harder in the UK because it was more um, more populated? Why, why was it harder in the UK? Yeah, that's kind of kind of the same reason for my mom doing it. Yeah, you know? I think anyways. That's my that's my assumption. just a little bit more trying to make it where I stay at a steady 3,000 feet getting a little bit of turbulence so the place he lived didn't have any good clotheslines oh okay that makes sense I didn't know if it was like a you know really populated area and there just wasn't room for it or or what the what the deal was understood understood Although I do have less than a half a tank of fuel, as you can see right there, but let's see how it works out. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay, so five minutes. This, this shouldn't be too bad. Five minutes of hands off, <laughs> no changes, nothing. Okay, okay, we'll see. The fuel shortage, yeah, the fuel shortage. Yes, we'll blame it on that. I'm not too awful nervous about this right now.
until until I get some turbulence and then it blows me way off course, but we'll we'll see. Beasley, what's going on? How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. Good to see you this evening. I hope you're doing good. Oh my gosh, if you landed it, if you would have redeemed it at landing time, I probably would have just ignored it. Well, I probably wouldn't have. That that would have been that, that'd been pretty bad. Taco, what's up, Taco? How are you, friend? Good to see you. I hope you're doing well this evening. Drop the base. Thank you, Taco. I appreciate that. Good to see you, friend. I hope you are well today. Voice mod, yes, yes, yes. I've got all the. Uh, I've got. I love my voice mods. So I've got a. Uh, I've got a Go XLR. And so I've got. Um, I've got six different voice mods that I can do, but there's only two that I really use. And it's uh, murder, tri trivia, murder party voice, and then that one. I call it the squid voice. Isn't that what it was called? I think squid voice. And that's from my Splatoon two days. Oh, wow, we got the whole gang here. Everybody's here. I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Love Liberty. Love Liberty Disco. I said Liberty. Really? Love Liberty Disco. That's what Sissy Cat used to say, though. Liberty. <laughs> She's a brick. Ow. So, funny story. Since Tam brought it up, when she was younger, y'all know that song. You no, know, she is our brick. Ow. Tam, Tam, Tam the OG, thought the lyrics were, she's our brick. Ow. Like someone threw a brick at her. Or she was going to throw a brick at her. Yeah, it might, it might be. Uh, you don't want me to sing, I promise you. But it's just funny, the, the, um, the lyrics that kids think. It's, and what's funny is, if no one corrects you when you're a kid, you kind of grow up. And then you get married and you're singing the lyrics and your spouse is like, what the heck did you just say? Or somebody like you're at, you're at work. Now that's happened to me before. I can't remember the song, but here I am the, the manager at a automotive shop and I'm singing along the lyrics and like people are looking at me like, what did, what did you just say that lyric was? It's killing me now, Tam, because the plane is uh, banking to the right on its own, I guess because of the weather. And I just gotta let it go. Let it go. No, I'm not gonna start with that. So yeah, here's, this is uh, how little nav map wants me to, well, th this is the, the path, my flight path. But actually, because this runway is probably runway 35 or 36, 34, runway 34, um, I'm going to kind of swing out and then in. But as you can see, my plane is just kind of circling right now because I can't touch the controls for 30 more seconds. So we're just, we're just kind of in a holding pattern. Won't be long and I can straighten it back out. But Sam, that was pretty cool. All right, here we go. The time is up. Let me go ahead and get this straightened out. Thank you, Sam, for spending your points on that. Yeah, it gave itself a, a holding pattern, thankfully.
There we go. Alright, that should... Should put us on about right. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, that's funny. Let's see here. I'm going to go back to the cockpit camera just so I can look at the horizon and tell that I am crooked. There we go. Man, dog, thank you so much for that follow, dude. I, I truly appreciate that. Uh, welcome to what I call the sock drawer. I am Scruffy Tam, a longtime gamer. Been streaming for a little bit over a year now, and uh, I'm kind of hooked on Flight Sim right now. Uh, but to, the short answer to, to, to your question, yes, as Tam the OG said, um, you're kind of all passengers in chat, but because I'm so new to it, one day I'll have a stream where you know I fly with other people but for now um for, for now the short answer is no um Touter and did I pronounce your name right Touter Man Dog the first part I know Man Dog but is Touter did I pronounce that right Touter but welcome welcome to my channel we I have a super friendly community um awesome group of people here Uh, we are family friendly and most I, I would say probably the majority of us here are streamers and what i'm doing now i'm flying from san antonio texas to midland international airport and whoa shoot in texas as uh, another leg in my trek across the united states okay sweet and thank you for your understanding as well thank you for understanding that But yeah, that's something that I've had a couple pe other people ask me about. And I would love, love, love to do that. You like the Forza one? Cool. Wow, I'm getting a ton of turbulence right now too, y'all. Uh, just another reminder to our passengers on this flight that uh, we are seeing some significant turbulence now. Did see some uh, lightning off in the distance, so we may be getting even more. So y'all just be sure to stay buckled in, in your seat, if at all possible. And uh, make sure everything is stowed in the storage compartment safely or under your seat. Uh, we should be, uh, we're, we're still a good ways away from our final destination, so just enjoy the flight. Flight attendant should be coming down the aisle now with snacks and drinks. We do have alcoholic beverages at a cost. Enjoy your flight. <laughs> you just got a coffee. No, Tam, I'm a long ways. Yes, Taco, I did. I, I found the sound. I am really, am I, no, I'm really losing altitude. I'm so bad not to look at my altimeter. All my, all my passengers are like staring wide eyed out the window and screaming. And I'm just kind of chilling out. Yeah. If you need to, if you need to use the bathroom, do it in your pants. Flight attendants will be around to collect dirty undergarments later they don't get paid enough <laughs> yeah I got the sound I, re I really had a search for just the right one and that is the right one so I got it and uh, I actually had to put it in my um, my audio, I've got, uh, I've got the name of the audio mixer that I use, but anyways, I put it in it and boosted the sound just a little bit. So it'd be loud. 
but yeah, Tam, so here's, here's San Antonio, and this is me, so I've got a long ways to go. I don't know that I'll make it to Midland on this stream. I may end up picking another airport to land in. Land in. Are you serious, Tam? What? You're scared on this flight. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Just uh, the flight attendants are also handing out bottles. Or if you look in the seat in front of you, there'll be a barf bag and a bottle. Just in the case of uh, having to use the restroom. And this crosswind game is strong. Keeps on blowing me to the right. Even though the wind is blowing from my right to my left, I keep on pitching to the right. <laughs> wow, that might be the case, Tim. I don't know. I, I do know all the flights I've ever been on they said that um the like the nuts or pretzels or the um little belvita cookies that they give you are complimentary as well as like a quarter of a can of a soda of your choice is, is complimentary but the the alcoholic beverages were at a cost so i don't know oh no flights offered anymore i didn't realize that okay Cool. A biscuit and a quarter of a can. Yeah, I mean, then no doubt that's what you get when when you're flying domestic in the U.S. Um, coach, I don't know what to get first class. I, I'm not first class, so I just fly a regular coach. I know, right? one time on a flight and i think it was like from i don't remember if it was phoenix or las vegas to dallas or houston it was like a two two and a half hour flight i think they did give us um sandwiches who's at the front door Oh, y'all hang on just a minute. I need to take a bathroom break really quick and my wife is trying to tell me something. So let me let me pause. I'm going to pause. I'll put on some music and I will be right back. On my flights, 
the passengers don't get to use the bathroom when we have turbulence but by golly the pilot's got his own private bathroom that he gets up and goes to so yeah i just i just went to my personal bathroom yes yeah, so y'all survived i saw the panic i saw the panic but you survived also i went ahead and took the opportunity to uh put some more fuel in the plane while i was uh, using the bathroom i guess you could say i peed in the tank i mean i'm still in the oh shoot what the heck dang wow that was some pretty pretty bad turbulence right there see so yeah, i took the opportunity to go ahead and put some fuel in the tank because i knew there is no way i'm making it to midland uh on the amount of fuel we have one two five decimal seven five now. Cessna, uniform foxtrot yankee tam you're talking to mom Center, yeah okay Sierra, Charlie, Romeo, Fox that's right natural fuel dang all right man look at the look at the turbulence it's blowing me everywhere all right i'm gonna go ahead and switch back to external view there we go external view is a little more engaging i guess winter warmness i love that name winter warmness i, I love your name welcome to the channel i um i call my channel Yes, a 172. Oh, you know your planes. You know your planes. I'm flying across the country in a Cessna 172. I started out in a 152, I think it was. But I upgraded um, while I was in Houston. The outside perspective is annoying, really? Which I'm perfectly fine with the inside perspective. I, I I love watching the gauges and just flying like a normal person would. Uh, winter, winter though. This is true. The aircraft, the aircraft isn't straight. That that is a little annoying to me as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you know, hey, I am perfectly fine with that. If y'all are good with it when i fly and and i'm off stream this is the view i use so thank you and then i can just we can do this <laughs> um let's see here winter welcome to to my channel um i call us the sock drawer because i always wear crazy mismatched socks and so that's kind of my my thing i am known in several people's channels as the Should lord of socks thank you so much taco for that so I've, I've got a sock cam so here's my sock cam um let me slide my nav map out so i can see my socks all right the on my right foot i've got my black socks with christmas dog um pattern on them i love these socks i love them i love them and then on the right foot i've got um they're kind of dark gray and it's hard to tell but they're they're snowman and i think or maybe that's a reindeer reindeer snowman or dog snowman anyways those are my socks of the day thank you for putting that command out there taco yes pans you share them in my discord i don't allow links in my channel just you know for obvious reasons um every now and then you'll get a troll in that puts either a you know a virus link or a a um adult website link so no post them to my discord is perfectly fine in fact i probably need to make a discord um page not a page but a um shoot i can't think of the term a discord chat for microsoft flight sim yeah links are a pain so i've got links turned off so even if you clip my stream if you clip something to my stream then it's the channel thank you thank you why can i not think of a channel in my discord right right winter exactly and no i don't want to buy followers i actually figured out someone someone taught me a trick to um stop the follow bots and, and it has worked i haven't had a follow bot yet Weston, please get back into ATC and then I'll get into the um whatever that was. I've got to snapshot that or can you just 
mess dm me in discord weston that um where i can talk live yes that sim network then i can get that and then you can you know that, that'd be amazing that'd be amazing and we're gonna have to all get together and try to work it out and do a stream where we're you know flying and you're the you're the um air traffic controller that would be so cool still get a ton of turbulence shoot um under i should have one for for photos i think pictures really post them wherever you want to post them tam why did you tam tam oh my gosh tam they were they they weren't they weren't trying to get me to buy followers thank you tam yeah they weren't trying to get me to buy followers <laughs> sorry about that winter dang tam the oh well, shoot tam the og is my daughter and uh she's 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 a mod no that's okay tam he was he was giving me an example of what a, you know what, what i was talking about with follow bots that was kind of funny actually but yeah i'm glad you didn't just get mad and leave yeah tam just dropping the hammer on all the new people all right passengers we are still experiencing some pretty uh dramatic wind turbulence as you can tell so again i ask that you be seated actually i'm just going to look over there at him there i asked that you wait where'd he go the dude bailed on me my passenger is gone well forget that message oh you were gonna go on your other account <laughs> hey you got you got a backup plan that's good uh thank you for being such a good sport about it too yeah the turbulence is too much he's like screw this i'm out uh, i'm in south carolina winter so I started, I started in South Carolina and I'm going to fly to the West coast. We'll fly up the coast of California and then back and land at the uh, airport at the airport. Uh, that's about a half mile from my house. Ah, not too awful worried. Yeah. Thank you, Tam. I did notice that. And, and thank you for looking out for the channel too. I mean, I, I appreciate you being on top of things, but yeah. At first, I thought the same thing that Winter was like, wait a minute now. You know, you're sending, you're, you're trying to get me to buy followers. And then I've realized that you were just, you know, doing that as an example. Y'all, my sinuses, oh, I kind of sound nasally. Sinuses are bugging me tonight. <laughs> Not a scam. Not a scam. Not a scam. There you go. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 Hannah. See, Hannah, Hannah's thinking the same thing. Hannah, don't, don't, uh, <laughs> don't ban Winter. He's just, he's, he's giving, he's being funny. Or, or they are, excuse me, they, Winter, I apologize for assuming. Please don't, please don't think badly of me for assuming your uh, gender. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Mm. Cool, nice. Thank you so much, Winter. I know um, some people some people are very sensitive about it, and so I try to keep that in mind because part of part of my channel being the sock drawer, why I call it the sock drawer, is just like like a drawer full of socks. You have mismatched pairs. Some are you know bigger than others, different colors and stuff like that and my channel is the same way we we all have different beliefs we all different colors different sizes different genders and i want i want to be accepting of everyone in my channel see so yeah, i thank you yeah but they're all still socks exactly so thank you for your understanding and it's never my intent to offend anybody
Gender is like your socks, unique. Heck yeah. I'm going to try. So I'm trying to work on my. You don't wear socks. What? What? And you, you follow and you sub the Lord of Socks and you don't wear socks. I'm just kidding. Excuse me. You cheer. Oh. Let's see here. I need to assign. Let's see. Bank C. I'm trying to assign some sound effects to my um, Go XLR panel while I'm while I'm flying. Oh, you got this. You got to for school. See, I knew you weren't an anti-sock person. Oh, Tim, your Wi-Fi is down. Dang. How are you going to ban people if your Wi-Fi is down? I'm experiencing some terrible turbulence, but I'm actually working on my sound effects instead. Okay, let's see if this works. There we go. You got barefoot into the supermarket? What? Wow. Are you just, just curious, Winter? Are you in the are you in the US? Because most supermarkets around here will not let you go in the supermarket barefoot. You have to have um, shirt and shoes. Oh, it's an Aussie thing. Okay. Wow. So you're from the you're, you're from um why can I not think tonight? You're from Australia. <laughs> hence the hence the term Aussie. Oh, you posted the photos? Thank you so much. I will definitely check them out. Thank you for posting them. Sorry, I'm still... I don't know where my sound effects went. I probably need to be focused on flying instead of focusing on sound effects right now. Sorry about that, y'all. There. If you live next to the beach, you can literally literally wear no shoes. Ah, oh, wow, that's that's pretty nice. Oh, wait, did you? What did I have pulled up? Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry about that. I apologize. I wasn't thinking that you could see that. It's all good. I won't do that anymore. Mrs. Max Knife, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I've missed so much stuff. How are you doing? That is pretty cool. That you can uh, go to the supermarket with no shirt and no shoes. Sam said hello. Well, I need to say hello, though. But I'm glad that she's on top of things. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good day. We got some new friends in here tonight, this evening. Oh, wow. You know what? I didn't realize that Midland, Texas was such a high altitude. Um, where am I at right now? Altitude wise 2,900. I mean, excuse me, not 29. Yeah. 2,900 feet and Midland, Texas airport is at 2,859. So that's something you got to watch. Uh, your altimeter in this game or in any plane in a plane in real life, the altimeter is zero is at sea level. 
So if you're flying along and you're at 3,000 feet and you start out at the beach, when you get to the mountains and you're at 3,000 feet, you done hit a mountain. Oh, hey, Mrs. Ma what? Are you? But hey, Mrs. Max Life Stream. How is everybody? I hope y'all are doing well. That's really cool. So how? So you've got me on your stream. That's very awesome. Thank you so much, Mrs. Max Knife. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Thank you so much, Miss Max Knife. You are you are such an amazing person. Yeah, see, Winter, I couldn't tell you who your prime minister is. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. So you're watching me on both. Let me take a peek over there real quick. Minimize some screens so I can see Twitch. And there is Mrs. Max. Oh, you're doing art. That's right. You do are doing the art stream, aren't you? There, I sent a couple of emotes your way too. Thank you, Ms. Max Knife. I appreciate that. How are you? I see you waving at me. I gotta, I gotta go back to my flight though, before I crash. There. Yeah. So be sure y'all check out Mrs. Max Knife um, once I once I end stream, which it'll be it'll be a little while before I before I wrap things up. Yeah, the mountain hits you. So I do need to keep that in mind because by the time I get to Midland International, um, if I'm still at 3,000 feet, I'm going to be very close. In fact, let me switch to the external view. Is there... Is there a above ground... Is there an AGL altimeter in this plane or in planes? Or do you just need to know your terrain? To, to understand that it's something I had not I mean I knew about but I had really not thought until I'm, I'm flying and I realize what the altitude of the aircraft is and see I'd like to do some streams too that are that are more than just that are more than just games some hands-on stuff but I'm not all about hauling equipment all around, so it is what it is. That's, you know what? I hadn't thought of that. Her name does sound like um, a cooking channel, but Mrs. Max Knife. Yeah, I raised it 7,000 feet in Denver. I've been to Denver before and uh, I had bad experiences health wise both times I went to Denver. Uh, Miss Max Knife is actually, um, this month anyways, a horror streamer. And I really enjoy her streams as well. So I'm going to go ahead and raise up to 4,000 feet just to be on the safe side. And we'll stay around 4,000 feet. You always do spoopy stuff. See, I wasn't, I was a hundred percent sure on that. I thought that because of your name, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. All right, where am I? Thirty-five hundred feet. I need to go back to the right just a little bit. I drifted off to the left some. Holy crap. You're amazing at knifing people in video games. You're not going to die on this flight. I hope everyone bought insurance. You can buy flight insurance, you know. So I hope, I hope you bought insurance. In the unlikely event of a crash, hopefully you bought insurance.
<laughs> Too young to have insurance. You know, I could have just throttled up instead of pulling back on the yoke. And I'm kind of glad that I pulled back too, because look what we have coming up on us. Looks like we got a, a mountain. I'm gonna go ahead and throttle up a little bit more. Oh, you know what? I could actually just go around it because I'm still heading way far away from where I want to be. So this is my this is my nav map, and I, I need to be heading this direction. Instead, I'm heading you know off to the west. So I'm gonna I'm gonna correct that right now, and that'll help us avoid this mountain too. It's good for multiple reasons. For a plethora of reasons, it's a good thing that I can avoid that mountain. There we go. All right, now we'll just let it level back out and try to keep the keep the heading I've got now. We are gaining altitude. I'm gonna, I want to try to stay around 4,000 feet now. Throttle back just a little bit. So it's a slow, steady climb. That should be good. I am descending just a little bit, but I'm going to... Still, still getting some turbulence. Alrighty then. We've leveled back out. The wind's still wanting to blow me around. I'm getting uh, a four knot crosswind. Four knots is not too bad. Wind is out of the northeast at four knots. Right now, that gun it plane. Fly straight. quiet in here oh really I'm, I'm being so quiet I'm sorry I'm just sitting here kind of chilling now oh cool wow miss max knife that's really amazing that you're that you're doing that thank you so much oh well yes I will do that hello mrs. max knife stream hello how is everybody this evening? I hope you're well. Thank you for lurking my stream. Or not for lurking it, for streaming my stream. I appreciate that. I appreciate that so freaking much. That's amazing. Tam the OG dropping the bass over here. Thank you so much, Tam, for dropping the bass. Getting things hype. Making some noise. Making some noise. Baby shark. Oop, wrong one. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate you spending your channel points on Baby Shark. I was at an event, so in in what I do, off stream, I'm a um, automotive technology. 
my gosh, I can't even say what I do. I'm an automotive technology instructor at a local community college. And I was at an event. <laughs> I was at an event um, at, a, at a local high school. A, like a job fair type thing. And so myself and my boss were there. Sam, I see your redemption. I'll do it in just a second. And um, they started playing kids songs. And that was the first one. And y'all don't know how hard it was. If you've been in my channel for any length of time, you don't know how hard it was for me to, you know, not start doing this. When they started playing Baby Shark, it, it was hilarious. All right, five minutes of squid voice, courtesy of my own daughter. And the OG. Y'all, I hope we do pass. Thank you for that. Kids, oh, dude. Kids. Kids, thank you so much. Everyone give Kent some hype and Tam. Tam the OG, will you shout out Kent, please? Kent, thank you so much for that resub. I appreciate that. Three freaking months. Three months. How are you this evening, Kent? I appreciate the lurk. And I appreciate the sub, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be back streaming regularly, regularly too. Thank you, Tam. <laughs> thank you so much, Ken. And thank you again for the lurk. I truly appreciate that. This this voice mod is so funny. Whenever my dog starts barking, it's hilarious how it changes the dog's voice. And then when Tam and the kids are over here, um, what it does to the kids' voice is hilarious, too. Not that mine's odd. I think this is pretty funny, too, but... Oh, Kent was playing Dead by Daylight. Okay, so after... After this voice is over, then we've got five minutes of trivia murder voice. Two of my favorite voice mods from two amazing individuals. Passengers, this is your captain speaking. We have reached such a high altitude that it's affected my voice. But this is still your captain, and we're still okay. But we're coming up on a storm system, it looks like. And there may be some pretty big turbulence. So again, just stay seated, stay buckled. And uh, I'll be okay, I promise. All right. I drifted a little bit left again. Straighten this thing back up. There we go. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine being on a flight and then the pilot can, comes on and they have a voice like this? Holy crap. And they're like, no, I'm serious. I am dead serious. Make sure that you sit down and you buckle up. Um, my plan is to land in Midland. Midland, Texas, kangaroo. That's my plan, but it's still quite a ways away. If you look at the look at the nav map, I'm not even halfway through yet. So we'll see how things go. I'm not gonna stream as late as I have the past few nights because I, I do have to work tomorrow at my normal time. plan that yeah landing and not crashing thank you yeah the plan that's why i said that's the plan the plan is to land we'll see how that works out We still have 50, 50 minutes of squid voice. 
And, and the name Squid Voice comes from when I was playing Splatoon 2 a lot. I actually started out streaming Splatoon 2, and then I got big, big, big into Animal Crossing. And I streamed Animal Crossing for, oh my gosh, I don't know how long. I'm about to crash into a school because you just lost the engine. You're playing landing air, like, <laughs> yes. And I just experienced the automated voice thing last night with this aircraft. This is only the second time I've flown this aircraft. And I love how when you're descending to the air airport, it tells you... It tells you, you know, 500 feet or whatever feet you are. So anyways, I I'm loving this aircraft. Wow, really? Thank you so much, Mrs. Max Life. You are so kind. 50? 50, 50 mid no. No, 50 minutes of, of squid voice cannot be a thing. My voice, like, I would not be able to... It's it's such a strain on my vocal cords to do the squid voice, and then especially to go from that high of a pitch to the to the pitch I'm fixing to do. Oh, it hurts my vocal cords. But you know anything for my viewers. That's what I'm, I'm here for it. All right, let's um let's do five minutes of trivia murder party voice now. Five minutes starts now. Yes, it's <laughs> it's a voice mod. I'm just kidding. I've got a Go XLR, and um, I use the voice mods on it, so I wish I had that much of a range. Mr. T, yeah, Mr. T flying today. If you've ever played Jack's, Jackbox games and played murder tri trivia murder party, this is that voice. This is what the voice is supposed to be. To use flight sim gear. Oh, thank you for the host, Winter. I truly appreciate that. So I've got a Logitech yoke and throttle controls. And that's all I've got right now. I don't have, I don't have the uh, pedals. But, but I hope to be able to get those at some point. So I can fly a helicopter too. I definitely want to do helicopters. But yeah, and, and I used to do Jackbox a lot on Fridays. Myself and Sam the OG would do team streams. And, um, we'd play Jackbox games. And I can never think of a phrase that the Jackbox host uses. But it's something, oh yeah, I've got, I've got most of the, in fact, I've got all the packs except the latest one that they just came out with. And it may not be out yet. It might still just be in pre-order stage. Oh, Winter. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what model mine is. It's got flight yoke. It's got flight yoke system on it. I, I don't know. I don't see a number on it. A model number. I need to rig up a, a webcam that points to this too. So y'all can see the controls of what I'm doing as well. Can we adopt Miss Max Life? Sure. I'll be glad to. So what was I saying? Um, uh, ma, ma, ma. Oh, Jackbox, yes. So I do know at some point, Smitty, I think is his name, the host of Trivia Murder Party, does say, I'm, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions if you get them wrong, you die. That's the only line I can ever think of whenever I'm using this voice. So, sorry. Sorry. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. I think he says something like that, too. So, if y'all want to post some phrases, if you can think of the phrases that he uses in the game, post them. There you go. Thank you. This isn't for the faint of heart or the fond of finger. I don't I don't remember the tones that he uses for that phrase though. This isn't for the faint of heart or the or, no, I, know, I know it's not like that. This isn't for the faint of heart or fond of finger. I gotta I gotta do a Jackbox stream sometime though. The, the, those are so fun. You 
really have to watch for trolls whenever you stream Jackbox, though. They bring out the trolls. Oh no, I just went full screen on my nav map by accident. Oh, you gotta run and get the kiddos in bed? No problem, Tim. Let's make some, okay. Let's make some loving, baby. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh gosh, make sure it's a sub only chat. That's a good idea. Yeah, stream snipers, yep. But Tim, um, have a good evening. Thank you so much for all you've done. You've, you've been an incredible mod this evening. Thank you. Tell the kids I love them and give them a hug and kiss. And we'll, we'll talk to you tomorrow. They do. They ruin the game. I've had some people come in and start the game and then they leave. And then it's kind of boring because you're having to wait on someone that's no longer there. Hey, man, homie. Let's make some loving, baby. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Incredible mods to ban actual people. Yes, yes. You're an incredible mod that bans my new followers. Oh. All right, and that is it for the trivia, 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 the trivia murder party voice. Thank you so much again, Ms. Max Knight, for that. Oh, uh, <laughs> Winter, are you trying to recruit? Are you trying to get me to buy followers again? Is that what's going on here? Oh, this is this is so much fun. I love my chat. You know what? And, and what's what's so fun about having so many people in chat? And, and what's what's mind blowing to me is I can't I can't watch the link. Tam, can you if you're still here? Can you approve that link? Don't you have a way to do that? If she's not here, uh, whisper the link to me, Winter. Because I can't even see it. All I three, all I see is three asterisks, just like you. It doesn't doesn't give me the option of doing anything. I think mods or Hannah, if you're still here, if you can okay that link, if that's even a thing, I don't know. But what's incredible? What's incredible to me is when we have a lot of viewers, and I'm streaming something like this, and for how long now? Have we just had this view? I haven't looked out the window or anything, and you guys, and you guys are um, engaged with me, and you don't know how much I appreciate that. That that really, that's really amazing. Yeah, Sam the OG wants to adopt Mrs. Max Knife. Yep, that's the thing. Sam, is there a way to okay that link that Winter sent? Isn't there a way that you can do that as a mod or no? Oh, seriously? Cool. Thank you so much. Oops. Well, it would help if I actually... Oh, thank you, Tam. There we go. I'm learning all the stuff from Mrs. Max Life on her... Well, she's streaming. She's helping me on my stream. All right, Winter. Go ahead and post that link again. What? Well... Um, maybe do it without the at, Tam. Try it without the at. Maybe that's... I don't know. I would have put the at in there, too. What altitude am I at? Okay, I'm slowly climbing, and that's okay, because the altitude is slowly increasing as well while I'm flying, so I'll go with that. Sorry about that, Winter. Just whisper it to me, or um, if you're... I don't know if you're in my Discord or not. If you are in my Discord, you can DM it to me. Holy crap, Hans. It's officially 2 a.m. I know earlier I had someone else also from Australia in here. 
as well, so it's late for them as well. I've got a regular viewer that, um, that lives in Australia. Oh, Windsor, dang, I mean, see, that's what I get. That's what I get for trying to set straight in my mind where everyone's from. I am so sorry, Pans. I apologize for that. <laughs> my bad, please forgive me. That's 12 p. Oh, okay, so it's noon for you. Looking out the window, you can see this is a pretty hilly area or it's starting to get kind of hilly. See how I'm changing the subject? Um, kind of a hilly area here and it must uh, be getting must get pretty hilly you haven't slept yet you shouldn't have got the coffee when I had bad turbulence yeah see you got coffee and then I had you spill it all over you too when we had the bad turbulence external view it's difficult for me to fly on external view too because you don't get that that horizon perspective even though you, you do have the um she i can't think of names tonight you do have this gauge that tells you you know the horizon but squid voice kid knives hey kid knives how are you good to see you friend Hi, that's a squid voice, courtesy of Kid Dives. Um, Kid Dives is another streamer as well. So let me give Kid Dives a shout out if my stream deck would cooperate. Shoot, stream deck is not cooperating with me. There it goes. Where is Kid Dives on my list? Kid Dives. Kid Dives. Oh shoot, let me do a manual shout out for Kid Knives. Kid Knives is an amazing streamer. An awesome member of my community as well. And I remembered that there are... Ah, I did it wrong. And I remember that there's two eyes in Kid Knives in their username. There. There we go. Oh, you're doing. You're playing Dead by Daylight too? There was another viewer a little while ago that's also. that, that was uh, streaming Dead by Daylight earlier. But well, you know what? I guess a lot of people are because it's October. Halloween. Ooh. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Did not mean to hit that. I was trying to use my one of my sound effects, but it's off my XLR again. I've got to really work on that after stream. Alright, just checking my nav map, my navigation map, making sure I'm still on course. And I am. It's pretty cool how ripply, how ripply the earth is right there. And I always thought of Texas as just being like dead flat. I wouldn't have thought that there, although that's not really mountains, but it is really hilly. 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 That's a fun word to say with this sound effect too. 
Really? It's really Hello. heavy. Is it me you're lurking for? Hannah, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. You're an amazing person. Thank you. Alright, so if you're just joining me, the plan for tonight is we are flying from San Antonio International Airport in Texas up to Midland International Airport, also in Texas. We are hmm, maybe a little bit more than halfway to our destination. And now that, I'm look, now that I'm looking a little closer at the navigational map, I can see that this is kind of a hilly area. So we're slowly making our way in our Cessna 172 across country. Doing a little cross country tour. You almost just deleted. Oh no! <laughs> don't! Don't delete that! I haven't played any of the Red Dead Redemption Red Dead Redemption games. Oh no, 120 gigabytes and halfway through the game down the garbage. So you actually did delete your progress? Ugh. I would be pretty upset. You didn't. Good. But if you had deleted it, that would be... Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm with you. Uh. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't delete it. That would be pretty upsetting. Oh. All right. Five minutes of Squid Voice is now up. Thank you again to our good friend, Kid Knives for that redemption. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you were deleting Resident Evil Village and realized you clicked on the wrong file. Ugh, the Red Dead Redemption 2 file. That, that, yeah. I would have been so mad. Yeah, you know, I need to I need to try it. The thing is, I wouldn't stream it because I'm a family friendly streamer and that's, you know, that that doesn't fit in that in that family friendly, you know, name, you know, as as far as um what I consider family friendly anyway. So yeah, that that's something I would probably stream not stream, something I would play off stream. I do have the plan sometime this month to stream Death in Taxes. Uh, our good friend Mrs. Max Knife streamed Death in Texas. I think it was Thursday evening, and I was pretty, uh, pretty impressed. Yeah, yeah, I was pretty impressed with that. So, so it's I've got it, and that's my plan sometime this month to do a um, Death in Texas stream, and I've got some fun stuff planned for that. Are you gonna do it? Do another. Try to do another playthrough tonight. How long did it take you to uh, play through it? It looks like a pretty. I mean, it's a pretty chill game, and I like that you get to make choices, and then as a result of your choices, the game changes as a result of what you choose. Eight hours the first stream and another one or two for the second. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be streaming for eight hours. This old boy can't sit still for that long. Three hours. And I think I've streamed five hours is my max. So I'll probably spread that out over two or three. Okay, Winter, thank you so much. I appreciate the follow. Thank you for hanging out. I hope to see you soon. Um... I hope to see you in a, in a soon chat, but I mean, in a, in a soon stream, sorry, but take care of yourself. It was nice meeting you. Enjoy your online classes. I actually um, have taught online classes before. Thank you, Windsor. I appreciate you. 
next time I'll make sure you don't get banned <laughs> or timed out right at the beginning we'll pick we'll pick on another new follower next time okay yeah I should be back live in an hour I should still be on I hope to be close to landing by then yeah uh, online classes especially teaching what I teach I mean how are you going to teach someone how to work on a car doing it online but last year when covid first hit in when was it we went totally online in march i think maybe february or march of last year we had to transition all of our classes to online only thankfully we had just started a new way of teaching with new software that made it super easy for us but like our welding program there were a lot of programs that were not ready to go 100 percent virtual and it was a lot of work for them but anyways thankfully we we found ourselves in a good place <laughs> try teaching the kids that skip school about half-life yeah i mean i've run into that not necessarily that we have kids that skip school, but we have we have students that feel like that they don't need to come to class and then they want us to still give them credit for being there when they weren't there to do the hands-on part of fixing a car. So there's, there's some parallels there. There's some parallels. But overall, we've got amazing students. And we do all our all we can we do all we can to help our students because you know i tell our students all the time their success is our success so if they're successful we're successful look at the look at the land right there isn't that just gorgeous the shape of the land and how it slowly slopes and stuff mrs max Knife, thank you for that redemption let me move my nav map out of the way so i can see my socks as well all right, here's my sock cam on the right foot. I've got my black Christmas dog socks. Y'all, I love all the holidays. Christmas is right at the top. Um, so I've got a, I've got a ton of Christmas socks. Uh, but anyways, on, on the right foot, black Christmas dog socks. Then on the left foot, I had to really dig deep to get these out because I tend to have the same pairs right at the front of my drawer. So I dug deep and got this one. Um, these are my dark gray uh, snowman socks so you can see um, snowman and then I think it's either a snow dog that might be a snow reindeer yes Christmas wind sock and those my friends are the socks of the day oh my gosh your state government got screwed over we were COVID free and now have like 1300 cases a day which is a lot the most he had in 2020 was 800 holy crap Dang, I didn't realize that it was um, spreading in Australia that that much now. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Max Knife. I've got some Pennywise. I don't know if you were in here last night when I was telling everyone. I did buy some Pennywise socks. Clown from It. But unfortunately, they, um, they're really narrow and I can't get them to stretch over. I've got a big heel. I can't get them to stretch over my heel. I, I'm just, I'm just going to have to force them on because it's really, it's really cool. And so many people are scared of clowns. I thought that would be pretty, pretty cool for, um, October. Your state's leading in COVID cases. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. <laughs> See, and that's, that's why I bought them because I knew uh a lot of people are scared of clowns and i said hey what a better way to um kind of celebrate halloween than to have clown socks and freak my viewers out right all right the wind's still blowing four knots um out of the northeast which is blowing right across my plane from the from the right to the left so it's kind of blowing me around a little bit you will not ask for some no, but every time I see you, I'll post them though. I mean, I'll post them. What? I'll uh, I'll, I'll put my sock camp on cam, 
can't talk. I'll go ahead and turn my sock cam on, whether I get a redemption or not, just to freak you out. <laughs> uh, I'm a nice guy, but I'm kind of mean like that. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime, anytime I can freak you out. Take a take a look outside at the terrain. <laughs> so the new premier let COVID spread in her state and then gave it to Victoria and we have took the worse over it because our state government's making it mandatory to work with the vaccine. People are getting pissed over it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I have opinions of the way things were handled and are being handled and stuff, but I'm not going to I'm not going to get into all that. My stream is a judgment-free zone, so It's not to say that I have, you know, personal beliefs in real life about things, but I try to keep looks right that would scare the that would scare the crap out of me if i if i looked over here and someone was sitting there whether it's in the game or not that would that would scare the crap out of me you don't look like you're in a plane yeah i know right it's rough what's up that's something i need to do i have a green screen but um i just put these lights up back here so i, I wanted to use them but yeah i need to find uh in a plane interior picture or photo for my green screen and then it would look like i was in a plane and i know i know there's a such thing because there's a um a sim streamer that i follow that's got one i love the lights too we had no covid cases and we went into lockdown yeah uh, laura i think you and winter are from the same uh area not the same like Winter's from Australia. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Max. They were actually on sale um, a while back. Oh, different countries. I'm sorry, Laura. I didn't want to say because I didn't want to dox, um, dox you. Winter had already said in chat, but I didn't want to dox you. But for some reason, I was thinking y'all were... Y'all were in the same country. My bad. Keep your eyes on the road. It's rough. How are you this evening? Good to see you. Uh, if you've never been in my channel, uh, I am Scruffy Tam. I've, I've been gaming most of my life and been streaming for a little bit over a year. I am known as the Lord of Socks in, in many, in three, at least three other streamers channels because I love crazy mismatched socks. That's, yeah, there you go, Pins. Pins, thank you so much. I, uh, I love that. Yeah, that's the back of a plane. Oh, did you make it? Did you, did you make a Lord of Socks? Yes, that's right. Thank you. You just did that for me. So, uh, Mrs. Max Knife did a command in her channel for me, too. If you go to her channel, type in exclamation marks. Is it Scruffy? Exclamation mark Scruffy? Or Scruffy Tam? Then it will actually shout me out. And I always thought that was pretty cool. Okay, exclamation mark Scruffy. I always thought that was pretty cool to go in someone else's channel and instead of shouting me out, people would, you know, exclamation mark socks or, or scruffy or scruffy tam and i kind of i've been in some people's channels i wanted to use that as like my entrance you know like here i am but i really feel bad about shoot shout myself out so i usually don't do that command myself oh no problem kid knives i appreciate the lurk thank you so much what game are you playing kid knives if you have a minute to um to tell me Now you have an idea for boss's stream for a command. Oh, Lord. And, you know, I need to use that same idea. It's really cool to have. And, and it, it's, it makes 
it makes me feel good to go in someone else's stream and they have a special command for me so i need to start doing that to make my viewers feel good my my streamer friends good but right now i've just i've got a stream deck and i've got a shout out button so i can push it's really cool too how this works so i just push the shout out button and it shows me icons of all the, all my viewers and i can just hit the icon of the viewer that i want to shout out and it automatically shouts them out for me so that's it's a big time saver when you don't have a mod in your in your chat i need to appoint some more mods too by the way do you appoint mods or do you select them i feel like appointing them is like some kind of a i don't know it sounds like super official nice well thank you pans i appreciate that i hope my monday starts as as good as what you all are saying yours is okay i've got to take a quick potty break um give me just i don't know two or three minutes and i'll be right back i'm gonna fill my water up and um get rid of some water and i'll be right back let me pause this flight this is pretty cool that you can actually pause midair um, something you can't do in real life unless you're in a helicopter but then you still can't leave the helicopter right all right y'all stick with me i'll be back soon yes i gotta refuel myself <laughs> oh yeah that's right um I, I don't think i'm that low on fuel now so i think i'll actually um do this properly instead of peeing in the tank all right i'll be back shortly give me uh three to five see you soon All right, I am back. And uh, by the way, Mrs. Max Knife, if you are still, if you still got me streaming on your stream, don't worry about the music. I actually do own the license to any of the music that I play on my stream, so so don't don't worry about getting um, your wrist slapped or your hand slapped for a uh, DMCA strike or anything like that. You are covered. Welcome back, everybody, or welcome, welcome back to me. <laughs> that was, I am so sorry. That was stupid. Yeah, copyright free. That's right. 
So I've got a um, a drone services company on the side. Oh, do you? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just just making sure to let you know that you're covered. But um, I own a drone services company, and so part of what I do is video productions. I'm actually shooting a wedding. I won't be streaming Saturday because I'll, I'm, I'm videoing a wedding. And so because I do video production sometimes, I do subscribe to a site where I can get copyright free music. And every now and then I'll get a, I'll get a hand slap from YouTube for um, the music. But I just have to tell them, look, I do have the rights and here's the license. And then they, they take that strike away. So just wanted to let you know, just in case, just in case. But good to be back, everybody. I did ref I refueled my water cup. And hopefully I'm running on empty right now. YouTube are being a pain with music. Yes. Yep, they are. Which everyone is, and I, I kind of understand it. I mean, I can see I can see both sides. Because as as a videographer, I would be I would be upset if someone took a video that I created and used it to you know to further their business without giving me any compensation for it. And it's kind of the same way with the music industry. And I know they kind of get a bad rap, no pun intended, but they get a bad rap for, for like DMCA stuff. But I mean, it's those artists did take a lot of time and it's their talent and stuff to produce those songs. So I can, I can, I can kind of see both sides of it, just to be honest. I mean, I'm not saying that it's right that we can't use any songs, but I'm just saying I kind of, I kind of understand in a way. So check that out. There's a big, like a, I don't know what you call that, a, a valley. That's like a notch cut in the earth. That's pretty cool. Yeah, one thing with me, and, and I call it, it, it's kind of a, it's kind of a blessing and a cursing all at the same time. Most, most topics, I can see both sides of the story. So, uh, name about any topic, and I can, I can understand, I can put myself in other people's shoes and totally understand their point of view. Hello. Okay, Is it thank me you. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Max Knife, and thank you for using my lurk command, too. I love that command. Even though that is me, I still love it. Oh, there's a nice, I guess, what, what's that called? The plateau? I just love how beautiful the earth is. It's one thing that I really, really, really love about flying is being able to being able to look out and just see how gorgeous it is. Yeah, finally some hills. I mean, it is beautiful. Look, look at that. Is that not just amazing? This is probably the the most beautifulest. I know that's not a word, but the most beautiful thing that I've seen so far. That is gorgeous. And that's 100% what I love about flying in flight. And then you can see also where, like right here, it looks like it used to be a river f that flowed and there was probably a flood or something and then it, you know, found another path once the waters receded it's really cool really cool to see that it's something you can't you can't see when you're on the ground because you're only seeing such a, a narrow point of view it's pretty awesome 
can't see too much from this side because I'm not sitting in the co-pilot seat. Yeah, this is a really long leg. I, I was going to make it two legs, but I said, nah, you know, it, it shouldn't take too awful long. Um, we're getting close. I'm actually going to, looks like I'm going to be done earlier than what I thought. I thought I'd be streaming until 1030 or so, but I'm probably going to be able to wrap it up around a little after 10. Which is a good thing because I get up at 530 tomorrow morning. Don't want to be up too late. But I did, you remember that one leg, um, Kangaroo, if you remember, it was one leg that you pointed out, it was the 300 mile leg. I did shorten that one up. I went ahead and picked another airport to, to land at, to, to break that up. So let's see what the next leg of my flight is gonna be. So we're, we're Midland now, or we will be. My next stream will be going from Midland, and, and this one is not quite as long as, yeah, this one's 2.30, 2.13. Going from Midland to El Paso, so we're still going to be in Texas. Texas is huge. This is a huge state. But then once we leave El Paso, we're going to be heading to, um, where is this? I'm not really sure where this is. Sierra Vista. doesn't say either this could possibly be mexico it very well could be mexico not 100 percent sure on that no dude i'm still in texas and i've still got another another flight to go texas is huge baldur hey I, i'm good i actually did a, a refueling a little while ago in the air so I'm, I'm, I'm really good. I shouldn't have done that. I've got to, I've got to get better about just landing in an airport and filling up instead of doing it in the air. Cause that is not realistic at all. And, I, and I'm trying to do it as realistically as possible. Yeah, and part of the issue with being in Texas so long, Weston, is uh, if you look at my, if you look at my flight path, I, instead of going straight across, I went from Houston up to Dallas and then down um, to Waco and then um, San Antonio. So El Paso will be my last stop in Texas. And it looks like, yes, this is Mexico. And then I fly up to Phoenix. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Texas is a really long state. It's huge, big old state. By the way, is Texas, which is bigger, Texas or California square miles wise? Does anyone know that? I know I could Google it. My policy with game difficulty is that you can always start with baby steps. We don't teach first graders. Yeah, that's this is true. That's true. Well, thank you. Um, oh, so Alaska is bigger than Texas, and then is so California would be third. That's a very valid point that you made, Baldor. Thank you. But still, I mean, even even if you're flying with a certified flight instructor, you still don't refuel in the air, though. So either California or Montana. Yeah, I forgot about Montana. So here we have some uh, irrigation circles. If you ever, if you've ever seen these in person, like on the ground, they use massive sprinklers that are, that are round and they just, uh, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. If you ever, if you've never seen it before, um, it's worth a Google, but I've seen them in person. 
they're they're really 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 impressive irrigation systems oh okay i've ran out of fuel in the cessna 152 i think is the one below this that's in the game i ran out of gas two times and then kung fu kangaroo told me about this this Cessna, the 172, which is a little bit faster than the 152, and I like it because it's got the digital display. It took it took just a minute to get used to the display, but yeah, I like it. Oh, you live in? That's right, you do live in Montana, Kid Knives. Montana's a big state. We were just talk, talking about it. All right, Kid Knives is redeeming Trivia Murder Voice for five minutes, so we get five minutes of Trivia Murder Voice. And it starts right now. Five minutes of Trivia Murder Voice starting now. Kid Knives dropping the bass. Thank you, Kid Knives. I thought you were Tam the OG because she always does that. You like the display? Pilots crashing into terrain is not that uncommon as we want. Yeah, this is the first leg, Baldur. This is the first leg of my flight where the airport is a significant altitude higher than sea level. The highest I've seen so far is 500 feet above sea level. And it just so happened that I looked to see how high above sea level um, Midland Airport is, and it's 2,859 feet above sea level. So if I had stayed at 3,000 feet, yeah, I'm going to get there. I'm actually, after I'm through with California, I'm going to Vegas, and then we're going to fly to Colorado. So yeah, it's on my flight back from, from um, West Coast to East Coast. So I'll have an opportunity to try it out. But if you didn't understand that the altimeter is reading MSL and you think it's AGL, then you're screwed. Oh, wow. Which airport is KSLC? So a while back, earlier in my stream, I had mentioned... Oh, Salt Lake. Okay. Hey, I've got a question for you, and that's one of the airports I'm going to land at is Salt Lake. I've got that on my... I've got that as, as, a, as a stop. The Bonneville Salt Flats, aren't they in Utah? Is that, that's the site, see, that's the site that I want to see, is the um, Bonneville Salt Flats. I want to make sure that I've got that as part of my flight plan as well. But I've been to Denver in real life two times, and the altitude difference between where I live now, which is not much, and there was so much that it made my heart kick out of rhythm. Both times I was there, I was hospitalized with, with my heart jumping out of rhythm. Just because of the difference in altitude. It's crazy. You wouldn't think that altitude would make that big a difference, but it, but it did. So I don't think I'll ever go back to Denver. This landscape is just beautiful. It is beautiful. Select Midland. If it's on my list, this one should be on my list because it's not really crowded with airports right here. We're not. Yeah, 
I'm still not chilling. Oh well. We'll get there. Okay, so they're west of the Great Salt Lake, which is a lake just north of the airport. The Reno route takes you to the Salt Flats. Okay, thank you. I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm going to snapshot that with my phone so that I can make sure I have that as part of my flight plan. I've seen it from the air in real life, but I wasn't 100% sure because it's been a while. Okay, so I'm going to request to land either runway 30, 34L or 34R once I'm within range of the ATC. That's what I'll request. It's because it, I'm just, I can just fly straight in. And I think even if they tell me they want me to um, fly a left or a right pattern, I'm still going to request a fly in. Oh. There we go. Five minutes of trivia murder party voice is up. Thank you so much, Kid Knives, for that redemption. I love my, my voice effects. Appreciate that. This is the most scenic that that my flight so far has been as far as the uh, coast to coast tour of the United States. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Smoky Mountain Ranch. So it looks like we are no, 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 probably 50 miles out from Midland. Still got about a half hour, maybe a little bit longer. That's funny. And I want to do the same thing, Baldur. I want to I want to do the same with a um That is that's hilarious. I want to do the same thing with the drone pilot group. Post the picture like flying right over the top of a stadium and be like, "How is this legal but we can't fly a drone near the stadium?" and see see what kind of reactions I get. only thing is I'd have to do it off season because someone that really knew would notice that the field isn't striped because I have noticed so far all the um, all the ball fields that I've flown over they're not striped so I'd have to do it off season so they wouldn't be like that's not that's not real or that's not now anyways it didn't just happen because the field's not striped yet but that's hilarious I know it's still probably too early to have Midland on my list of airports, but I'm going to go ahead and check and see. Air traffic's not real busy at all. Um, so it's not that serious to get in touch with them this far out, but that way I'll have one, one thing out of the way. In the air, boys. Why did I select that? I did not mean to select that airport. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So are you a streamer, Baldur? 
If you are, I need to give you a shout out if you are. Streamer and YouTuber, cool. Yeah, let me give you a shout out. Give me just a second. I have got a YouTube channel, but um, I don't do a good job with it at all. And I'm a video editor, so I mean, I could I could make some videos, but time is really a, a thing for me. Just finding the time to keep a YouTube channel up and um i was doing some hang on a minute there we go there's you a shout out y'all be sure to um check out baldur aviation and i'm gonna do the same too i've got to, i've got to throw you a follow as well but i also was working on a podcast and i did two episodes but my gosh it's a lot of work and then to try to try to stream look at look at all the the uh, wind the wind turbines that's pretty cool those things are massive. I've never seen one of those in real life. Pretty freaking cool. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can throw you a follow without messing my stuff all up. There we go. Got it. You now have a new follower. There's Mrs. Max knife. There we go. I had Mrs. Max knife streams pulled up. She was straight. She was streaming me. Oh, wow. Really? I've seen um, like video of them hauling the the blades but i've never seen one in real life dang that's amazing an entire semi car to carry it i do have some friends in the drone industry because i've got friends throughout the united states that are that are pretty big drone operators they, they have pretty big companies that uh that do fly them that do inspections for them but i've never had the opportunity to to do so First of all, I'm okay, oh, thank you for the follow man Hey, I appreciate that follow. Thank you so much. I did not expect to follow back um, from my follow, but but thank you. That way, uh, next time I stream, you can get the notification and, and jump on as well. There's only two other flight sim uh, streamers that I follow right now anyways. Oh, cool. Thank you. And thank you for your help, too. I'll take all the help I can, but the Kung Fu Kangaroo that's in here, um, he has been streaming a lot of this and American Truck Simulator. Uh, he's, he's a really cool streamer as well. And then there's another guy, Coldy Bear. Coldy Bear is in Australia, if I'm not mistaken. And he's a, a fairly new streamer. He hasn't hit affiliate yet but he plays flight sim as well and he's been playing it most of his life he's a pretty cool guy all right looks like we're coming out of the hills now get close i'm fixing to um change my heading i, I really appreciate that i mean that, that's pretty amazing of you to to do that to help other other streamers out as well other simmers wait what is that right there well that's another airport okay i'm gonna change my heading to go ahead and line up with runway 34 l or r i think was what i said when i first started when I first started on this, um, on Microsoft Flight Simulator, I was using just an Xbox controller. 
and man that was that was pretty rough i mean my turns were horrendous yeah i don't know i i had considered that but my goodness it would take so long and there's so many other places that i want to see so i thought across the united states and back wouldn't take too much time and then i could just you know fly to certain places around the world and, and you know check it out and stuff so but i wanted to start in my home country and just fly across it see some sights But that would be interesting to see if anyone has done that. There we go. No, oh, wait a minute. KMAF. There we go. Yeah, I thought it would be too much too. It would take up way too much time. Uh -oh. uh, I'm gonna request another runway. It's not gonna let me know. It's not gonna give me the the option. Okay, so I need to do a left approach into runway ten. Okay. Well. Well, that's not going to be too awful bad, though. Because runway 10 isn't too far away. Oh, are they? So someone is doing a tour of the world in a Cessna, but are they... Are they actually flying from place to place, or are they just picking the destination and then go into it and fly in wow that's super time consuming I mean even this what I'm doing now is pretty time consuming okay so runway 10 okay so I'm going to have to fly around I'm going to do a left approach so I'm going to come up come up this way fly over and then then we'll do our final approach it's gonna so i'll be streaming a little bit longer yeah I, ha I haven't flown a jet in the game yet so my plan is as i progress and i get comfortable with one plane then i'll switch to another so i started out with the 152 says the 152 got super comfortable with it and kung fu kangaroo said hey you know try the 172 you'll be familiar with it and it's a little bit faster so i switched to it and at some point i'll probably go you know a little bit bigger but but i kind of like flying low altitude so you can see some details see some sights and if you go too fast then you go by those things too fast too so we'll see yes yes i do know traffic patterns i don't I don't necessarily remember uh, the names of the legs, you know, crosswind, downwind. Um, I can't even remember them all right now, but yes. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Doing a left approach onto runway 10. Um, so, runway 10 is right here. So, I would fly. Um, so, I'm going to come up this way, then fly parallel to it. And then perpendicular to it, and then fly straight in. Am I correct on that? Begins and ends, Billy Bishop, Toronto City Airport. After that, it's north to the Temiskany River in Quebec and on to the. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is incredible. That's something that I would have liked to do, but that, that's just going to be too much. Oh, you're back mrs max knife welcome back mrs max knife's channel i appreciate that how is everyone doing so mrs max knife is a, a, a rather new streamer friend of mine a member of our community and she is currently streaming and she's got my channel on as she's doing an art stream so welcome everybody to so cross the one way run that 
across the runway into the downwind, then descend for base and final. Upwind, crosswind, downwind, base leg, final approach. Gotcha. So the only reason, Baldur, that I needed to know that is so that, y'all, give me a minute. There, sorry for sniffing at you. Um, the only reason that, that I needed to know that as a drone pilot is so that I would understand that planes aren't just coming in directly to the runway and flying out directly from the runway, that there are traffic patterns. So it's something that I kind of committed to memory but didn't have to necessarily 100% know. Oh, you're making some coffee, so you're leaving your lovely community with me for a few minutes. Of course it's okay, Mrs. Max Knife. Well, thank you for trusting me with your community. And welcome, welcome Mrs. Max Knife's community to uh, my community. Uh, what I lovingly call the sock drawer. Because I love crazy mismatched socks. And just like all of us as humans... Um, a drawer of socks has different color socks. It could have different size socks. It could have socks that don't, that don't have a pair. Um, and, and so I use that analogy to say that we as humans are the same way. I understand that we all have different beliefs. We're different sizes, shapes, colors. We have different belief systems. And so my channel is a collection of mismatched humans, but because I'm the Lord of Socks, I call us all Socks. But welcome, I hope you I hope you like my content. Well, Mrs. Max Life is fixing her coffee. How in the world are you drinking coffee this time of night, by the way? I know what time of the day it is for you. I guess, well, it's not as late as it is for me. All right, so, oh, you know what? Here I am, I am such a noob. Baldur, when I was explaining, I was, I was actually moving my cursor like y'all could see what I was doing, but basically, if I'm doing a left approach into on the runway 10, what I'm doing is I'm going this. So this is this is runway 10. I'm going this direction, then this direction, then this direction, and then final. Correct. And I apologize. When I was explaining that a few minutes ago, I didn't have this on this screen. I was doing it on my other monitor. Stupid me that y'all thinking that y'all could actually see that. So upwind, crosswind, downwind, base leg. Yeah, you know what? So it is the, the unfortunate thing is I wanted to run, I wanted to land and it's not giving me the option to land at an, on another um, airstrip, another runway. I wanted to go straight into 34L or 34R, but it wants me to come in on 10. Dom, Dom the Dev, thank you so much. I appreciate that sub. Holy crap, nine months. Has it really been that long, Dom? Give Dom, give Dom some, some hype. And Banana Ice Zambi's here too. Welcome, Zambi Banana. Um, Dom the Dev, yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is wild. Dom the Dev is also a streamer. Um, she's taking a little bit of time off moving and, and just doing some personal stuff. But I'm going to give Dom a shout out. And Banana. Banana's a streamer also. All right, come on, shout out button. Work for me. Load my viewers. There we go. All right, so I have got Dom and Banana giving y'all both the shout outs. Thank y'all. I highly recommend both of these streamers. Um, Banana Ice Zambi is a family friendly streamer at all. Although, although he did warn me that for the month of October, he probably wouldn't be so much. 
You're welcome for the shout out, friend. That's okay, Dom. I totally get it because my, you know, I had taken a hiatus that was only going to be for a week or so and it ended up being a couple of months, but it is so good to be back streaming regularly. I've got the streaming bug again and um, my, my plans were after last night's stream not to stream again until Thursday morning, this coming Thursday morning, but... Are you out of town right now? Well, I hope you do. <laughs> I understand, Banana. I hope you do start back soon, Dom, because I really did enjoy your streams. Um, but who knows? As, as much as I'm loving this uh, flight sim, y'all might see me streaming tomorrow night and not Tuesday night because I've got a meeting Tuesday night, but you might see me streaming tomorrow night. So I know Tuesday I won't be able to stream and I know Wednesday I won't be able to stream. So after tonight, I'll, I'll either be on tomorrow night or Thursday morning. And I am Eastern Standard Time. So when I say morning, it's Eastern Time. Oh, dang, Dom. That's pretty cool. Oh, jury duty. That's fun. Uh, where I'm from, our court system loves me. I get pulled for jury duty all the blessed time. I've never been to been to New York before. Uh, my daughter has been. Tam the OG, she's been to New York. But I have never been to um, New York. Oh, thank you, Dom. So I've got a yoke and I've got throttle controls, but I need to get the um, the pedals so that it's easier to, for me to control. Oh man, dang banana. I hate that your friend's moving away. All right, Mrs. Max Knife is back. Welcome back, Mrs. Max Knife. I hope you enjoy your coffee. And thank you again for hosting my stream on your stream while well, you stream. You lived here for a summer in college and try to visit friends every year or so, but haven't been here in two years because of COVID. Yeah, I get it. You're welcome, Mrs. Max Knife. You are very, very welcome. Alright passengers, this is your pilot Scruffy Tam um, back. Just to let you know we are going to um, we're, we're in a flight pattern around Midland International Airport. You uh, very soon will be able to look out your window and if uh, the left window anyways and see the airport. We should be touching down sometime in the next uh, half hour. and the, the skies are fairly clear now we haven't really had a whole lot of turbulence in the last little while so i'll go ahead and turn off that seatbelt sign for just a few minutes go ahead and get up um, use the restroom whatever you need to do and just be safe as long as you're seated um, keep your seat belts buckled in case we do run into some in case we do run into some, some turbulence thank you and i'll let you know as soon as we um are on our final approach Techno Biz, thank you, Techno Biz Pilot. Thank you so much for that follow. I truly appreciate it. Welcome to what I call the sock drawer. Dom the Dev, why is it called Midland, Texas? I have no idea why it's called Midland, unless it's right in the middle of Texas. That's the only thing I could think of. Less turbulence whether you have your coffee, yes. So hopefully our flight attendants um, gave you some, you know, napkins or whatever to clean up the spilled coffee, but hopefully you're good. Oh, is that why it's between Midway and Fort Worth? Midway between Fort Worth and El Paso. I had no, no idea. Thank you for that edu education. And Technobiz, thank you for the follow. Um, as I said, I am Scruffy Tam. Um, this is what I call the sock drawer, in my community. I'm a longtime gamer. I've been gaming since 
uh, the mid to late 70s. We started out with a Pong. We had a console and that's all it was was Pong. <laughs> yeah, my flight attendant ditched me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so you were on your own. Sorry, I threw some napkins at you. Um, and I've been streaming for a little bit over a year now, almost 13 months. But welcome. We, I appreciate you. Are you a flight simmer? Tell me a little bit about yourself. I am a family-friendly streamer. I took uh, I took a couple months off, but I, I've I've come back. I don't have a regular stream schedule posted yet. But I've got a, a very kind and welcoming community. We um, this is a no judgment zone. Everybody is accepted and welcomed here. Anyways, got a lurk. Have a great stream. Always great to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the lurk, and I hope you have a good evening. They ditched and took the Belvita. <laughs> yes. Because that Belvita is so amazing. It's worth stealing. Stream on, stream on, stream on, stream because I came back to you. Thank you for the unlurk message, Mrs. Max Knife. I so appreciate that. I know you love that. I love it too. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, Banana. I appreciate that. Right, I'm going to throttle down just a touch because I see I'm still, I'm still um, gaining altitude. I'd like to just kind of fly level now. Another Texas fun fact. The California border is closest to El... Is closer to El Paso. Oh, wow. Seriously? El Paso is going to be my next stop. Once I land in Midland, uh, my next stream will be to El Paso. And then from El Paso, I'm pretty sure it's uh, Mexico. I'm going to land at an airport in Mexico. And then we'll fly into um, to, to Phoenix, Phoenix from there, and then over to the California coast and fly up the coast of California. That's the plan, anyways. Yes, yes. So I'm just curious, and and I don't know if anyone would know this answer or not. If this is real life. And I fly a plane from El Paso and I land at an airport in Mexico. What happens if I'm an American citizen and I fly a plane and land in El pa in, uh, in uh, Mexico? You've done the drive. Holy crap. The Del Dallas to LA. Because your mom grew up in LA. It's a long drive. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine. How many hours was it, Dom? Do you recall? Yeah, if you land in Mexico, you land in Mexico. But I don't know if, I mean, I know you got to have a passport to. Like, oh, good Lord, 21 hours. Dang. So that's like three days worth of driving. Sheesh. I just didn't know if, if like when you land, I'm sure that ATC. Okay, that makes sense because I was thinking I, I know that ATC would be like questioning you know who you are and what what your intentions are, but if you just outright landed, that probably would be the case. You'd get sworn by the um by the Mexican authorities and be apprehended until I don't know what. I'm just curious. So, two streams from now, two streams from now i'm probably going to end up in a uh, jail in mexico so that's going to be a fun stream <laughs> that would be funny if when i landed you know there was a bunch of uh, mexican cop cars came out there and they surrounded my plane and then just like out of a scene of an action movie i would just go full throttle and take back off and they'd be shooting at me and stuff and i'd be dodging Oh, man, that would be fun. 
anyways it's realistic but it's not that realistic yeah that's right breaking bad stuff going on here and i haven't mentioned it this stream either one of the reasons um that i'm having to take so many potty breaks is um i've got my mind in the right place now as far as my um, my health my body health i had heart surgery in december of 2019 and then had to have heart surgery again in july of this year <laughs> matrix with a plane last time i went to the doctor i weighed in at 420 pounds now i'm a big guy of course 420 pounds i am a big guy but i'm six foot four inches so i hold my weight well but they said my health other than my weight is perfect and if i can get my weight off that i'll be in perfect health and that's that's pretty freaking awesome for a 53 year old to be in perfect health so um in the past since august 16th i have lost 34 pounds so i'm down to 200 and whatever that equates to i mean not 200 wow that'd be awesome i'm down to 387 388 so i'm pretty proud of that and a lot of that is when i get hungry or i get cravings i gulp a glass of water I've been drinking a ton of water. Yeah, I'm a pretty tall guy. And my wife, she comes up to my, um, to the top of my shoulder. So she's, she's approximately, uh, I guess about a foot shorter than me, or maybe more than a foot shorter than me. I've got a picture with my family. And like I tower over my whole I'm talking like my mom and my sister and, and all, you know, my, my family, not just my immediate family. And I like tower over all of them. It's such a, it's such a funky looking picture because I'm so tall and big. All right. We're just about perpendicular to the drop in the base. Thank you for dropping the base, Miss Max Knife. I appreciate that. That's Tam, the OG's favorite thing to do when she joins my, when, whenever she enters my stream. So anytime I hear it, I'm thinking Tam's back. All right, we are now on. Um, I it was a twofer yes a drop in the base twofer all right we're coming up on where the air uh where the um runway will be almost exactly perpendicular to my plane let me pull pull my map over here so runway 10 is is right here well maybe not quite there yet we're getting close and then i'm gonna um go to the left this way left this way and then we'll come in for our landing i was kind of hoping they'd let me fly straight in because i've got to be up at 5 30 in the morning uh, but that's okay. I, I, I should be able to wrap things up by hopefully 10 45, 11, 11 o'clock. Siri, I'm not talking to you. Siri thinks I'm talking to her. So we'll see. We shall see. my spooky sounds that's my granddaughter we were playing around one day with my go xlr mixer making sound effects oh you just gone to just go to sleep <laughs> i can put it in autopilot and just go to sleep yeah that's actually my granddaughter that's um sissy cat i 
Oh, no problem. I uh, will show you the airport. So it's, it's zoomed in on me now. Let me zoom out. The airport is, is right here. Um, runway 10, of course, is facing this direction. So I'm, I'm probably further out than I needed it to be. My plan was to kind of fly this direction and then over. But I'm, I'm slowly heading to the left and then we'll, we'll fly up and over and, and go ahead and land. So kind of messed that approach up, but it's okay. Although I try to do things as realistically as possible. Okay, cool. Thank you. My, my philosophy as a streamer is always that my community comes first. And so if I, if I fail at a game because I'm focusing on my community, I'd rather do that than to be so focused on the game that I don't pay any attention to my chat and the community. I mean, it's, uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. I'd be sitting on my recliner playing a Nintendo Switch game. So I would much rather focus my attention on my viewers than I would focus my attention 100% on the game. And that's not to say that, that you know, I'm just not going to pay any attention to the game and fail all the time. But I love my community and I love my viewers. And I, and I want to show y'all the, the attention that you deserve. So I'm all about that. That's right, Mrs. Max Knife. You know it. I just noticed, and I don't know how I missed it, that you've got the hype train emote. I mean, the hype train um, badge. You should stop playing Tetris. I have not played Tetris in quite a while. I was actually around when it first came out. It's been a while. I've got Tetris 90, or I had it. I guess it's still a thing. Tetris 99 on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so it's not a thing anymore. Or is it? Is it still a thing? Yes, you were a hype train conductor yesterday. Um, I love word stuff. So, like, um, a game that I keep on coming back to and coming back to and coming back to on my phone is Wordscapes. It's like a crossword puzzle type game. But I love word stuff. Oh, you play Wordscapes too? Oh, I love Wordscapes. And I actually um, heard about it or I saw it when I was on a flight. There was a passenger that was sitting either in front of me or um, diagonal to me that I saw was playing it. And so they were pretty kind. And I asked them what they were playing. Oh, you play it on time to time. On, ooh, you know what? I may have to do that sometime too. I have done words on stream before. I like words on stream. I have done. I have. I have. Um, there's another one too, Gardic, where um, it, it's kind of, I forgot what, I can't think of, um, I can't think of what its equivalent is in real life. But anyways, the game draws pictures for, yeah, Gardic. Yep. You know what it is. Yeah, there you go, Pictionary. Thank you. It's very similar to Pictionary. Oh, cool you're doing it this month but only spooky stuff will be allowed sweet all right so we should be flying over midland um downtown midland very shortly i'm slowly making my way around there to it I guess I'll, I should go ahead and let my uh, passengers, if I have any passengers left, 
I mean, my co-pilot's already ditched on me. Let them know um, our status. All right, passengers, this is your Captain Scruffy Tam speaking. Uh, we are currently on a flight pattern that's going to take us right over downtown Midland. We should be heading there very uh, well momentarily. And then after that, we'll be banking to the left a couple times, and then we'll be on our final approach into um, Midland International. Thank you all for your patience as we made this trip. Uh, skies are clear. Beautiful skies right now. <laughs> He's walking his way in there. He's like, screw Scruff, damn, I'm going to walk. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, people. Uh, forgot I was still on the forgot I was still on the intercom um, for my passengers. Uh, so I will let you know as soon as we come on final approach. Your flight attendant should be coming around to clean pick up any trash that you've got. So if you would kindly just throw that in the bag, and uh, I'll be back with you momentarily. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all for flying Scruffy Airlines. Yeah, my uh, my poor co-pilot, he kind of got sick of sick of my crap. Yeah, I think I think all my passengers did too. I think it, I'm pretty sure it's just me in here now. I mean, here I am talking about all my passengers in a two-passenger plane, and those and it's really not two passengers; it's a, a two-person plane, I guess I should say. It's technically no passengers; it's just pilot and co-pilot. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head straight for downtown Midland. There is a little airport called Midland Air Park. Looks like right in the middle of Midland. Yeah, there it is right there. I know it, right? A two-man plane with an ensuite and bedroom. And cool backlights, too. I mean, it looks just like the inside of a home, right? Oh, Midland's an oil town? Learning all the stuff from Dom. Well, that's cool. I don't know of anybody that I know in real life that lives in Texas. Oh, yeah, I do, too. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, there's a guy that Tam the OG graduated with that lives in Dallas or just outside of Dallas. Oh, wow. Your dad commuted out there every week. Cool. Take it. That scared the crap out of me. Thank you for that. Channel points redemption of baby shark. Socks. All right. Got kid nice wanting to see my socks of the day. So one thing I do in my channel and in, in, in real life, actually, I have worn these socks everywhere I've went today. Um, I wear crazy mismatched socks. And so I do have a sock cam. And if you're ever curious what socks I'm wearing, just put in that command at exclamation mark socks and I'll pull up my sock cam and so my socks of the day on the right foot i've got my black christmas dog socks my funky socks heck yeah oh look at that and and my bot decided to say that too and then on the left foot i've got my um they're dark gray with snowman and either i, don't, I can't tell if those are dogs or reindeer i guess you can call them whatever you like because it kind of looks like a dog but it kind of looks like a reindeer too but anyways, those are my socks of the day. And y'all, I love Christmas, so I, I have a ton of Christmas socks. And then I've got some other, you know, funky socks as well. You think it's a deer? All right, we are coming up on Midland right now. I went to uh, Automotive Shop Expo two, week, two weekends ago. And if you're in the United States, you may have heard of Napa Auto Parts. 
I don't know if they're worldwide or not, but they they had a booth there, and I didn't know what they were giving away. But they were there's all sorts of freebies you get at these shows, and so they were giving away freebies. So I had a I had a bucket full of stuff, and I got home, and I've got some Napa Auto Parts socks, and I was pretty stoked about it until I went to put them on, and they're kind of like my Pennywise socks. They're too daggum, they're they're too narrow. And I can't get them over my heel. But one day, one day, I'm going to fight them things and get them on. And hopefully, once I lose some more weight, um, I won't have that problem anyway. So we'll see. But I'm all about new socks. All right. So I'm just... Uh, Working on my flight path, my flight pattern here. I am currently almost parallel with runway 10, uh, which is compass heading 100. And that's the runway that they requested that I land at. Trying to go ahead and get parallel with it, and then we'll fly straight out for a couple miles, and then we'll be on our final approach. All right, so I'm good right here. Let's take a look at Midland. I'm going to go ahead to the external view. I don't spend a whole lot of time on external view because it's not realistic, uh, unless you're Superman and you can fly behind your plane. Let's take a look around Midland. And the sun is, the sun's going down. We're reaching, we're getting close to sunset here. The sun's kind of in our eyes. So here's Midland. It looked to me on the map like it was going to be a rather well populated area, but it looks, or, you know, kind of a uh, congested area, but it looks like it's kind of spread out compared to a lot of the cities that we've seen. Everything's not, you know, really crammed in there, like some of the some of the places we've been. That could change, though. There we go. Now it's looking a little more crowded. go ahead and switch back to the oh yeah I wanted to, I wanted to look at something look my co-pilot my co-pilot is sitting there so this dude's just messing with me I mean he's still in the plane he doesn't know I'm looking at him right now but then when I go to the cockpit view and I look in there he's hiding or, or, or she I don't really know I can't tell but yeah see or or they're a ghost i've got a ghost co-pilot that'll work too we'll go with that since it's you know october and stuff <laughs> gotta use my ghost sound effect too right or my scary sound effect whatever you want to call it Phasmophobia. Yeah, fant let's see. I can't read that. Phantasmophobia confirmed. Yes. Yes, it is. I messed up this afternoon um, and I named all my sound effects actual names instead of just the default name that the, the GoXLR named them. And apparently that took them out of my GoXLR. So the only sound effect I have currently is my... the. the this and then that one other sound effect that I just played holy crap what was that wow Dom that I'm serious something just fell in my house hang on a minute I, I, I'm gonna I mean something just crashed somewhere um, I'm going to pause and step away for a minute. I need to use the bathroom anyways. 
Let me see what made all that racket. I'll be right back. Well, that was a very unintended part of my stream, but I go through any lengths to entertain you guys. That scared the piss out of me. I'm just gonna tell you. Um, so behind me is a closet. Behind me and to my, and to my right is a closet where I keep, um, I'm a builder of Lego as well. So I keep all the boxes from all the Lego that I've, that I've built and also my camera gear boxes and all that stuff i keep in here so i didn't have much room for the box for my logitech yoke and it's a rather big box so i just kind of balanced it it fell that's what it was but I, I tell you now that scared the crap out of me and then when dom <laughs> dom wasn't it dom that did the uh the the troll door knock the combination of those just came at a at the perfect time. Actually had the hair standing on my head. Well no, excuse me, I don't have hair on my head, but had um gave me goosebumps. That was that was pretty scary. Um and yes, yes, the blue screen is part of the is part of it. It's totally on purpose totally on purpose but yeah dom you could not have timed that any better you could not have timed it any better and i'm gonna go back and and uh, look at that that clip of when the box fell and then you did that and look at the look on my face i don't know if i looked as as scared as i was because that did that scared me <laughs> yeah i was i was a little bit spooked because i know my wife went to bed a while back and she is asleep and we've got crazy next well i shouldn't say i shouldn't use the term crazy uh our next door neighbors are really creepy people um and so i was thinking what the heck happened did i really okay cool And then that you could hear it on the mic too. That that that's gonna make a good TikTok video. I might put it on TikTok. Um, since you could hear the crash on my mic, and then the look on my face, and the the door knock, and everything. It was just you could not have timed that any better. All right, I'm gonna pull my nav map over. Um, so here's runway ten. I'm flying parallel to it now. I'm going to fly out just a little. I hate when it does that. I'm going to fly out just a little bit further. And then I'll um, make my crosswind. Is that right? And then final approach. In. Or my crosswind now. 
No, I'm not crosswind now. I'm upwind. Let's see, downwind, upwind, crosswind. I can't remember. I need to keep a notepad on me so I can remember these things. There we go. I think I've got it fixed. Now. I'm, I'm taking off where it um, keeps on trying to center the aircraft. So I think I can stay zoomed in now. It kind of messes with me on an airport like this when there's multiple runways and it zooms out then I can't tell on my map um, when I'm getting close to lining up with the runway. Upwind, crosswind, downwind, base leg. Okay, so I am, I'm downwind right now. Thank you. That's right, downwind because the wind should be at your back. No, my keyboard isn't working again. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. So I'm about to go on my base leg and then final approach. Uh, I need to go ahead and talk to my non existent passengers that I have in my two seater plane. <laughs> All right, passengers, thank you for your patience once again on this flight. Uh, the skies are mostly clear. Uh, in fact, they are clear over the airport. We, yeah, I'm talking to my ghost, that's right. Um, we are coming up on final approach, uh, so we should be touching down soon uh, at the uh, Midland International Air and Space. I don't know what PR stands for. I should know because I'm a pilot. But anyways, at the uh, Midland International Airport, Thank you once again for your patience and uh, for traveling Scruffy Tam Air, uh, excuse me, Scruffy Airlines. I am Scruffy Tam. Uh, we'll be touching down soon. So flight attendants, prepare for landing. Uh, once we, once we, um, ah, never mind. I'm such a horrible pilot. I meant to look up the, what the weather was. You're just placed around the plane holding on. Yeah, trust me. You need to hold on because my landings are still pretty rough. This will only be my third, I think my third landing with this yoke. Ooh, I can. That's right. I forgot about that. Thank you. But it's not, um... Why is it not broadcasting it? Right there in front of me and I forgot about it. Yeah, because I was going to give the passengers a, um, a weather report like the pilots usually do. I usually end up um, left of the runway. Some For some reason, I guess it's just me, I end up left of the runway. So I'm, I don't see that changing for this flight either. There we go. But it's still not showing anything. Do I need to manually tune it to uh, 126-800? Not sure how to do that. That's okay. It looks like a timed landing. Oh, because I'm on the tower. Midland Airport. There we go. Thank you. Altimeter tree zero decimal one four. 
Coming up on final right now. Should see the runway very soon. And there it is. Look off in the distance. You'll see the runway lighting pointing its way to me. And just like always, I am way left of the runway. So I'm going to try to Come on over. <laughs> yeah, the wake turbulence. Your jack-o'-lantern has a witch's hat. Black, oh, purple always. Purple's my favorite color. So I will always say purple when given the choice. Oh, thank you, Pans. See? We agree. Yeah, it looks like it is because it's well wait a minute yeah it's 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 losing altitude but um that's pretty high up to be as far as as close to the airport as they are oh it's yours too holy crap go ahead and uh, once I get lined up I'll activate flaps all right flaps down throttle down a little bit get my airspeed down just a little bit I'm still still a little ways out so I don't want to I don't want to get it too slow there's my my warning of other aircraft being in the vicinity the ADS isn't that called ADS I'm still not quite lined up now. I feel like I'm kind of right of the runway now. So I'm trying to get lined up. Yeah, your name is purple in chat. Um, and I used to do purple in, in other people's chat too with my name, but it was such a popular color. Really? It's gray for you. It's purple for me. Um, I actually changed mine to a bright green. That's strange, Pans, that it's gray for you because I'm seeing I'm seeing purple. Clear to land runway one zero Cessna uniform Foxtrot Yankee. All right, cool. Now I'm left again. Oh, air and spaceport. That makes total sense. I don't know why I didn't, I couldn't figure out to put a T on the end of the POR. Sheesh. All right, so the airport's 2859. My altitude is 39. So I'm about a thousand feet out. thousand feet AGL I tell you these landings really make you appreciate what a real pilot goes through when landing
Cossack lined up pretty well. Pull the throttle back a little bit more. Yeah, most likely Twitch. Twitch gets really glitchy sometimes. It's got the Twitch glitch. Let me give it a little more throttle. Not quite as close as I thought I was. The what now? What's the what's the Vassy? I'm not sure. You have to educate me on that. What's the uh, what's the Vassy? V A S I? Vertical. There we go. Oh, you know what? I just realized that the runway shows up on my nav screen. That's nice. That'll help me line up a lot better, too. Oh, the two lights on the left. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. Thank you. Learning stuff. Oh, shoot. I am way right now. Holy crap. My landings are horrible. I had no clue. So I learned something then. All right, here we go. Touchdown. Come on, touch, touch, touch. There we go. And break. Oh, no. Oh, God bless. <laughs> Shoot. Dang it. Oh, well. Y'all got to see a crash. My landings are horrible. Oh, you know what? I was pushing the wrong key, too, for the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. that was <laughs>